It is unlikely that the father of restorative dentistry, Dr. G. V. Black, could have imagined the direct bonding of modern-day composite materials to coronal dentin. It is equally unlikely that the father of endodontics, Dr. Louis Grossman, could have imagined bioceramic sealers that could bond to radicular dentin. That being said, both of these dentistry giants advocated the latest theory, techniques, and technology of their day, and certainly would have been quick to embrace the advancements in material science that we are seeing today. The reason for restoring a cavity or performing a root canal are both the same, to restore a tooth to its natural function and to preserve the tooth in that state for as long as possible. Historically, dentists recognized the need for retentive preparations for the successful placement of amalgam fillings. This served patients well and was the standard of care at the time. These techniques were developed based on the physical and chemical properties and limitations of the materials available at the time. With the advancement of modern material science, doctors are now able to utilize minimally invasive cavity preparations and bonded restorations. Up to this point, it has been universally accepted that the weak link in root canal obturation is the sealer. Traditional sealers are hydrophobic, non-antibacterial, non-biocompatible, dimensionally unstable, and unable to form a bond within the root canal system. For this reason, various condensation techniques have been developed over the years to minimize the sealer interface with the canal walls. In order to facilitate the compaction of gutta percha, root canal preparations have been flared especially in the coronal third of the root. The advent of bioceramic nanotechnology now allows us to utilize minimally invasive root canal preparations as condensation of gutta percha is no longer necessary to minimize the sealer interface. Restorative endodontics is the concept of embracing modern material science for root canal therapy in the same way that has been done in restorative dentistry. It is minimally invasive shaping, system synchronicity, and bonded obturation made possible through bioceramic nanotechnology. The ESX endodontic system features several patented components and was developed to fulfill the vision of restorative endodontics. The system is fully synchronized from instrumentation through obturation and post-placement. With a minimally invasive shaping protocol, the ESX system only requires two files for the majority of basic cases. The system utilizes a matching bioceramic obturation system featuring BC sealer and BC points. ESX employs a minimally invasive post system which matches the ESX preparation and thereby eliminates the need for a post drill. The ESX file employs several patented features to maximize cutting efficiency and safety. The patented alternating contact point design helps to keep the ESX file centered in the canal and minimizes torsional stress on the file and the root. The ESX file features a patented booster tip which allows the ESX to navigate even the most challenging canal anatomy without perfing or ledging. The ESX file is very efficient and features a large chip space. In order to maximize safety and efficiency, it is recommended to use all ESX files at 500 to 600 RPMs with a like touch utilizing the single stroke and clean technique. The SSC technique simply means that you engage the file in the canal with one gentle stroke and then clean the flutes free of debris prior to re-engagement. First, achieve full working length to a size number 15.02 taper. Next, the ESX expediter file should be used following the SSC technique until working length is achieved. You will select your ESX finishing file based on the level of engagement necessary to achieve working length with the ESX expediter. Finally, the ESX finishing file of choice should be used following the SSC technique